And we're here at the Flow Hive office garden and <laughs> we're about to take a look at the beehives and we've got a special guest here today, Gary Megan from MasterChef, welcome. Thank you very much and what a treat. You've got that gorgeous view across the countryside and the coast and there's whales breaching out there too. My office doesn't look like this, it's incredible. You can see all the girls at work. It's the female worker bees that yeah. actually do all the work in the hive. You're looking at thousands and thousands of flowers just to get a jar of honey. What an experience this is. Oh, wow. Do you know what that is? That's the Takaru flowers that have flowered recently, and it's a very quick, short flowering, and they fill the frame in about three days. That's more caramelly. Mmm. I can taste a couple of flavours in there. One is the bloodwood. Now, um, it's actually a characteristic of the honey, mm. which I recognise the big strings attached. It's also got the red banks here in it. Mm. And that's what gives it that more caramelly kind of flavour. Yeah. You look at the colours on this, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So why are you getting different honeys? Just because they're, they're working hard to fill one frame with one particular nectar from one area of flowers? Correct, so they'll start in the middle of the hive typically and start filling out towards the extremities. Mm. So what that means is if, if the nectar source runs out, then it'll be a completely different honey you'll get in one of these outer frames yeah. than the, the centre. People are really enjoying the, the different flavours and amazed you can get the different flavours out of one hive and normally yeah. they mix them all together. Sure. And now what you can do is tap individual flavours to your jar and people are likening it to, to wine tasting. They're smelling the, the aromas, they're tasting the flavours and saying big mistake to mix them all together. Because what it makes me want to do is stuff like this, you see. Oh, it's honey on basil. Yeah. Good, good. See, because I'm looking at all the other flavours. There's rosemary, there's... Oh wow, that honey and rocket, that's insane. Because that's sweet and you get that <laughs> lovely bitterness, that peppiness behind it. Oh, that could be my new favourite. You could do a combo, you could do a, a rosemary rocket. What else we got? Parsley. Mm. And, uh... Oh mate, that's insane. I mean, why would you want your salad any other way? <laughs> and do you put the banks here on the on the basil or the? Yeah, or on the rosemary or on the. <laughs> but that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's a little alchemy of flavours. That's what cooking is all about. It is. So, it is. and it starts with ingredients like this. I think it's beautiful. 